A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. That was truly superfluous. Masterful counterpart. You're listening to Second Moon Radio, the station of levitated tastes. Don't touch that dial. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstract and its effect on the human Thank you, Professor. It is a question of priority. This just in from traffic. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially during rush hour. Good to know, Jim. Seems like everyone is in a hurry to get somewhere fast. It's worth slowing down. And if you can, plan your trip outside the rush. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather wait an hour in traffic than to have to start thinking about everything all the time. Besides, if I did that, I'd never get anywhere.
A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. This is Second Moon with J. Thomas Hornbuckle. Before we dive into our next selection, I'd like to take a few memento moris to elaborate on the formal structure of the symphonic work. For our newer, less able listeners, first, we will be dancing through the al dente section before entering the slower largo movement, finally, then savoring the vivacious anti-pasto movement. So, without further ado, let's raise the curtain and begin. For our feature story, we're on the streets with Kim this hour, taking the pulse of the city. So, Kim, what's the word on the street? Tell us what you're hearing. It's more what I'm smelling, Glenda. I have to say, it just plain stinks around here. Gross. And these concerned citizens agree. That's hardly news. There hasn't been any trash collection for who knows how long. There's rotting food, dirty diapers, fish guts, and... Oh, God, I, I, I can't stand to think about it, let alone smell it. And the piles of filth just keep growing and growing and growing and growing! Can it, Eugene? We're not doomed. You heard it here, folks. We're not doomed. It's still pretty stinky, though. That's good to hear, Kim. We'll be back after this. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstract and its effect on the human Thank you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. 